<laughs> Welcome to my channel, Motor Corey, where I motivate and inspire others to do acts of random kindness while changing people's perspective of motorcyclists, all in hopes to change this world for the better. I hope you guys enjoy. So this is something we've actually done for years. And I literally mean years. Ever since I was young, my mom like started doing this. The neighborhood, everybody in the neighborhood, it was all the women, they first got together and actually bought like real swags. And then they started, uh, my mom said it started getting hard woo, to get everybody together to actually do them. So it was a lot easier for her to just do them themselves her have her do them herself especially since us kids were like grown up we could just do it and we always used to have so much fun sitting on the back of the the uh car my mom had a tahoe so we could literally just stand on the side and it was so much fun and then uh now she has a traverse so you can't go on the side so we'll start using like the truck sometimes but no matter what I get to tie a rope to the back and ride around on my rollerblades so it is like so much fun I absolutely love doing this just gotta wait for her to turn around and I can put all the swags in the back do 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 I saw him. Good to go. It's amazing how like something so little, just by putting swags on like your mailbox, it makes you feel so good. Like especially when people are outside and they see you doing them, you just get to like wave at them. You just get to like wave at them and be like, hey, and they're like, thank you so much. And it really makes the neighborhood look really, really good. Meaty. That was my brother who just tried to trip me. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's weird. This thing stuck on the side of my car while I was doing donuts. I can't believe it fell. So this is my favorite mailbox coming up. Just because it's like not in our loop of our neighborhood. So it's a lot easier when you have the rollerblades. So like I'm always the one that gets it. because it's so far away and I get to do this yeah you could say I got really good at riding rollerblades I used to love riding my rollerblades as a kid. And now, like, since I used to do it with the swags, it literally gives me a time every single year that I get to do it. And it's just so, so much fun. So for this acknowledgement, I'm actually going to acknowledge my mother because she actually got me into doing this. Into doing the swags, into doing everything about this. And, you know, it makes our community look really nice. So it's really nice to actually do it. So, August of 2018, I actually broke my leg, and we put these up every Christmas. So, I was, like, so bummed out that I wasn't going to be able to do this for Christmas and, like, actually, like, go around on my rollerblades. But somehow, I actually, like, was good enough that I was able to. Like, yeah, it hurt the leg a little bit, <laughs> and, like, the vibrations of the road, like, really, like, irritated it. But... I was still able to have so much fun and I was still able to actually rollerblade while doing this. And look at this. These amazing swags, just all mailboxes. It's an amazing thing. Oh, looks like this one broke. See, it's like wrapped around like a whole bunch of times. So we definitely didn't do that. We don't wrap it around that much. So I'm guessing it broke. 
and then they tried to fix it by wrapping it up but it totally works because we try to like go around the neighborhood and look at them but you can't always like get them all so when they help by wrapping them up it's really nice oh look they even screwed it into the top that was actually really cool if you like seeing little acts of kindness like this then go ahead and throw that like button down Wow, throw a like, <laughs> click that like button, and then hit that subscribe button, because I do random acts of kindness like this. Little tiny things to my entire neighborhood that is literally kindness. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And now these are one of the ones that I do. It's not a regular mailbox, so I always have to figure out some kind of weird idea to like make it work. And I always end up doing, uh, I think there was one earlier in the video where it actually like went through like two little holes that like these screws are at. So it was actually very, very complicated. But the thing is, I've done it for so many years now and they've had that mailbox where it totally works and I'm just so good at it. I can just whoop, next one, whoop, next one. And this person with the black mailbox over there, they wanted theirs on the front. And I seen it in the front once. And we put them all on the side. And she was like, well, I can't see it on the side. So I went on the front. And I, it, I fixed it like three times before she talked to my mom. So I was like, oh my god, I thought it kept messing up. When really, she kept putting it on the side. So I was like, whoops. Let's see, this is another one that I did. Ooh, it's on this side. See, it's wrapped around these two bolts. And then <laughs> it just goes right in. Oh my goodness. Usually they come right out when you do these special ones, but looks like this one's up. Oh, there we go. See, they always get stuck on like little ends like this because it's not like smooth. So next year, I'm just going to have to make sure that we have a smooth one because sometimes we have to replace these wires like that one that broke. We're definitely going to have to replace the wire. So that one I'll have to make sure I save to do it on this. Okay. Oh, I already have a way. Okay. Yeah, because how I did it on the two side bolts, I can just do it on the two front bolts. Yeah, yeah I'm just going to have to remember. I'm sure I'll remember. <laughs> almost went down right there. <laughs> See, it's so difficult because when the car stops, the rollerblades do not stop. So you have to like keep a lot of like line. And then as I get closer, I have to wind the line up. And then like, well, I'm not used to using my mom's car, so it doesn't have a trailer hitch. So I'm not used to using this small rope. I usually use a bigger, like a thicker rope. Oh, and now here comes, these are like some weird funky ones. See, there is no way to actually wrap them around. So we have a bungee cord that we actually hook on. And these are special ones that we have on these mailboxes. I always throw the rope on this hill because coming down this hill there, there's no way for me to stop and if there's a car coming I'm just going to go straight across so it's better for me to just let go and coast down.